Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 37 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle of Meister. Today, we better get on the road because we've got a big battle in front of us. Ah, but before I forget... Let's put down our mining boost. With this in our possession, we get three stars in mining, and we get to grab these fire beast bones, fire beast fossils. <laughs> so it seems like Risha and Shelly's. Magic is not very effective on whoever this is. <laughs> so, her magic is fire magic. So she's kind of cloned here. So, she wants to know why he broke the contract and he's starting to attack Rao Rosso. He is responding to his master's guidance, apparently. First time she's heard of any master. This Guadalcuna Peak could be called a an altar. And through the various observances here, they've kind of formed a contract with this spirit that has been sealed here. So, a god, or some kind of high-level existence, has woken this guy and from whatever state he was in before. And now he's laying waste to the contract he had with Raul Rosso before. Yeah. His only uh, answer to the question of what's happening to the contract is to start growling. <laughs> So, he has been released and he's going to start destroying as long as he can. So, is this one of his master's orders? It's not an order. He's been freed, so he acts like he is. And because this is his particular way of doing things, he goes and destroys stuff. So, he's gonna burn the place down and asks her to watch, and she says she's not gonna let it happen. Whee. So, we're here, somewhere, and we think it's pretty hot in this damn active volcano. Eels' ears and tail are getting frizzled. Yep. This whole volcano is going wild. <laughs> so, Dietong says that Rao Rosso soldiers have been... have gotten ahead of us already. Well, obviously. Alright, let's go. Thea has a bad feeling.
So, it's an active volcano. There are lots of fire type monsters, obviously. Everybody prepared? We should try and meet up with Rishu and we can't waste time with that. So, our victory condition is to meet up with Rishu and Sally. This should be easy. She's just... Good god, this is a huge map. She's just way the hell down here. And where are her soldiers? Anyway, if she falls in battle, then we lose. Hmm. This is going to be a long and hard battle. But fortunately, I know what I'm doing. I'm not too fond of using detail much, but... Well, he'll be very useful here. Now this is different from previous games in that they can have lava hidden off Shh. They can have lava hidden off screen and not show you the entire room like they used to do. And they just say, hey, you can't go there even though there's a door. I don't know why exactly I get so much command points to play with, but I'm not going to fight it. Oh yeah, I need to equip detail now better. And this fire spirit, he hasn't introduced himself, but we both know, but we all know who he is. This fire spirit has started using his ranged attack on Risho and Tele. Actually, I guess his physical attack wouldn't have worked much better. Oh, this special one would. I need to 35, plus one, is 32. Yeah, it would have done like four damage a pop to her. But he's gonna just keep using his weak attack. Well, let's not fight it. Now is not the time. Ah, yes, equipment, equipment. Hmm, hell, oh, whatever. And I just stumbled upon this in my trial run. If you equip a tower shield on him, he gets this new ability. It's the heavy armored, the heavy walking soldier. All it does is give you this ability which improves our defend. Adding an extra three magic attack and uh, defense and magic defense. And also raising his dodge by 10 when he uses it. Oh yes, and mustn't forget, we have to capture like everything if we can. 16, yeah. Only if he gets two critical hits will he die. Will this thing die? Huh. I thought he was more impressive than that. Oh, 
I didn't give much thought to what its ranged attack was. Anyway. Alright, that's a good start. I should have equipped a capture rope on her. Well, she can take a couple hits. Yo won't get a chance to use her capture rope very often today, so let's put it on others. Oh, he already had one. Whom? I'm sure I had it. Oh, yes. I wanted to put it on Kisnir. Oh. She also needs a shield. Now Kisnir won't be much use against the Faram. So let's capture the skeleton. Oh, you thought that would save you. Let's see, 12 damage, 9 damage. Not ideal, but this will work. Sucky. Well, this... this will be good. Hopefully it will leave it can quite weakened and Avaro can finish it off. But not if both of them don't hit. Hmph. Yeah, at this rate Avaro's just getting himself hurt for nothing. Twenty-one times two. Fire Beast Fang. So I just send a couple of my spare Yuiki down the... Ah. Hmm. Yeah, I see. In my trial run I had the Mithril crossbow, which is a non-elemental attack, so it has no damage reduction against it. That other crossbow is also useful in having a little larger attack power, but perhaps I'll stick with this today. Oh crap. <laughs> Deal, we love you.
And here's where that iron wall skill comes in handy. Without the shield equipped and without that iron will, his defense would be about 7 lower. So he'd be taking 16 damage instead of 2. Okay, I'm gonna cheat here. The take again ring allows an attacker to hold back. It's called the Mercy Ring in uh, Kamidori's translation, I believe. So, instead of killing it, it leaves it almost dead so that Avaro can capture it and get some experience. Hmm, 15. Nope. Gotta be careful not to kill them without using the capture skills. See? That was close. Well, bastards. I guess I'll leave this end to Dethelm. He can handle it. And once he finishes these guys off, he can walk over there and seal that whirlpool up. Oh, you bastard. Who do you think you are, Eel? Die, bastard! Ah, oh, crap. That range attack. No, no. Large potion. Okay. That goal fought on is probably going to use that range attack again against detail. Or it could just be a sucker and not do it. See if I care. Okay, odds are we're gonna get this. I'll clear the room and next turn he can seal that whirlpool. Sweet. No, oh, son of a bitch. Well, Eel won't be very much used against the skeleton. They have physical resistance. If I had the goods to make Eel's next weapon, that had a f has a fire attack, which would be useful. Okay, 16 times 3. If I get a critical hit, we capture it.
もらっておこう Now, if you know what you're looking for, you have, you may have built this item, which lets you walk through a lot of things. In fact, I have one of every kind. The kind that lets you walk through lightning squares and earth squares, fire, and underwater. I don't have the flying one or the teleporting one yet. Oh, well. Haha, <laughs> sucker, I get to beat you up. Oh crap, it's one with a... It's another one with those damned... What are they called? Magic attacks. Stupid magic attacks. Now well, let's head back to dry land. Oh, earth shards. Not yet. Perfect. Broken swords, those are awesome. Hey, that's nice too. Let's stick to this guy, since they are such a pain in the ass. Now, Detom also has a charge skill attached to this particular weapon, the Mithril Bow, which is just like Avaro's charge skill, only it actually hurts them. So let's get some hurt on. Still, he cannot take these magic attacks. If anybody's surprised that, that there was a shortcut, well, perhaps you shouldn't be playing this game. They've been doing this since Himegari. It may be a while before Detailm can move to the next room. He's kind of getting swamped. Oh yes, capture rope. Sixteen. If he hits at least one of these times, we get ourselves another go for arm capture. Great. Well, magic defense is good because it's good. Yeah. When we meet up with Risha and Seri, I'm gonna need Karin holding the line because that guy will follow us wherever we go unlike other bosses who will just stay in one spot for us In one of these rooms down here, there's another monster whirlpool I'd do well to seal. But Detelm is most suited to doing that. Well, Detelm and Kavin, and Kavin's going to be tied up soon. k 
行動開始だ Where is it? Where is it? Ah,、oh, here it is. This will considerably buff Navarro, so he should be able to take out anything he sees down here. Hopefully. I mean, if all else fails, I can have him run the hell away. These r e s a m i r o d o n s take a lot of punishment, but other than that, they're not a lot of damage. They're not very dangerous. Well, this much at least is easy. Well, no wonder she's called the Twin Shield Princess. That's pretty impressive. Alright, we're here. Oh, so, are we here to rescue her? Well, she's happy. This must be what connects a husband and wife. Uh, not quite. So, this is the warmth that people give off. We came to rescue her even though we, there was no benefit to us. But we're a little late. She's just kind of making up her own mind on the story behind us, even as usual. So, she passes out. Yeah, as usual, she doesn't listen to what people are saying. But we're not going to let you die here. We're going to take care of this guy. Oh, so instead of Rishu, we are going to stand in his way. In that case, he'll wipe us out anyway. All right, we beat this guy up. And we've already figured out this guy is probably what caused the. Who broke the contract and caused the volcano to erupt? Alright, if he asks about Rishi. Oh, Arzio! So he senses the presence of the guide. And he calls her his master. Asks if, he, if she came to visit him. So, 
Who's this muscle maniac? Well, he's reacting to fear. <laughs> oh, well, he's uh, pretty happy to see his master again. And he's about to take his knee, but he flinches and... Ah, uh, no. Something's wrong here. Her presence resembles it, but she's not the same person. So, what's different? And who's she resemble? We're not gonna get a straight answer, are we? Hey, this is like what happened when we first met Rurin. Yeah, I've always figured out what we have to do now. Alright, so apparently we are forging the figure of the guide and we've got some nerve doing that. So, He's going to turn us to ashes. Oh, that's hot. Uh, yeah, I've all saw this coming. So, I guess we got to beat him down before he'll listen to reason. Alright, she is down with that. Okay, new victory condition. Defeat Yorin Yuiki. You know, he never did introduce himself. Ah, well, we know who he is. On second thought, I should have Avaro go down south, because we've got these two statues to fix up. And it really pains me to not capture enemies. Hey! Physical attack. That's good, that's good. Wait, we're not done yet? More physical attack. So, he gets a rank up at rank 15. Which he is in pretty good need of. Now he's able to really scrap with the people. Accomplished or floor? Or something. He also interestingly gets the Earth Walk ability. Gets to sense danger, like like Eo can with her ability. And this is a certain dodge ability, which is really annoying when enemies use it, but it, I'm going to use it and I'm going to enjoy it. Stinking skeletons. Yeah. What's best for skeletons are... That's right. Where... I know where she is. Well, at least Avaro can defend himself properly against this. Kodo Kiss near deployment time. Gah. You suck, D Tom. So, for one turn, Yorin will stand still, and from then on, he will start attacking whoever happens to be closest. And he's got a ton of life, so we should start chipping away at that. Alright, so, we're... 
forging the image of the, the guide and he's going to burn us. Did I really need to translate that? You guys knew what he was saying. <laughs> Fortunately, he's not very fast, but he's got some dangerous abilities. Hmm. Yeah, keeping you here is a waste of time, Avaro. Let's see, 24. Alright, Fia's going to be tackling Yorin with Karin in a minute. But I don't want this goal for to take my deploy point. Oh hey, I have got such a great idea. Rurin. Hmm. He can deal so much damage to these guys. I still want to capture them though. 12 times 2, not enough. 29 times 2. Okay, don't get a critical hit, okay? And don't do the Pierce ability either. Ah. Mm. He did the Pierce ability. You stinging, I told you not to do that. Probably Karin will be okay. Captured this time, Deed. Perfect. All right. Fifty-two. You know what? I'm going to give the serious attacks a rest. Because once Fia is behind him, she can take him down right quick. And she doesn't have anything to worry about from his ranged attack. Mm -hmm. Unless the old gets a critical hit, it won't die this time, but... It's going to attack her next time and get itself killed. See? I can see the future. Seventeen. Well, she probably won't capture it this time. Hey, <laughs> the odds were against that happening. Ah, it's time.
Now I should warn you against trying to deploy Rana in down here because she's weak against fire and everything down here is fire of some sort. Oh yeah, these stinking fish. They're all kinds of dangerous to basically everybody except Deet and Karin. Free capture. Oh, we're about up to a level up. Ah, here we go. Let's start dragging down those 150 hit points. And the nice thing about having Fia do it is it will deplete his spell points so he won't use that attack on Karin who takes a lot more damage from it. Mm. Three darkness shards. I prefer light shards. They're much more useful to me. Okay, capture rope back on. And heal up. Well. Oh, okay. I wanted to be able to see these guys so I can attack them next time. But I also wanted this uh, treasure. Oh. Crap. Heal. You need healing. And please don't die. I would l not like it if you died. Actually, do... Go if I um, have a fire-based physical attack, or is that just their ranged attack? No, it is just a physical attack. And... Heal's got a slight advantage in getting three attacks and more damage per attack, but she doesn't have as much life either. She does have an impressive critical rate as well. Hmm. Nine. She can do actually up to three, nine, twenty-seven, fifty-four. If she were just stupid lucky, she could do 108 damage in one battle with this. Kisnir. Stinking fish. Ah, I went through the trouble of healing her and it doesn't even land a hit.
行動開始だ俺の出番だな I'm just going to keep up these weak ass attacks so that he uses his spell power. Well, when applicable. Giant Hot Fish's Fang. Don't ask me. I don't know why they name these things like that. Hmm. Now oh, this was where the black bug was. Well, gonna capture it again. Kodo Kaisha. Ore no debandana. Pro tip, do not do this. Uh, on second bounce, don't do that either. Uh, Eel, can you take this thing on? No. Crap. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting this. Ronrin could wipe this thing out. Kisne would do a fair job. But it's pretty dangerous to either of them. Well, I'm going to say my top priority is not getting anybody killed, so run the hell away, guys. <laughs> oh, Detail's been hurt again. I hate having less than 20 potions. Mm. Alright, all is going well. Oh my god. I said less than 20 potions. I should have said fewer than 20 potions. How could I make such a crude mistake? I'm just going to go kick myself for the rest of the episode. Cheap shots. Sweet. Sweet, there's a show in the world. Oh, that is sweet. This is the horned lizard's iron fang, iron claw. This is a fist type weapon which anyone except for my Yui Ki can equip. For example, oh, I have let, haven't let. He's near out in a while. And I really should have. Okay. 
And Kisner is probably my ideal solution to this thing. Probably. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm not actually attacking with Karin. I'm trying to know if I'll be able to cheap shot this guy at least once. Ah, uh, crap. Well, she can take a couple hits. Oh, this is a happy setup. Since she's a magic attacker. Fourteen. Running. Twenty. Perfect. Just don't get a critical hit. Perfect again. And capture attack does 14, gets two attacks. Perfect. Huh? This is... crap. <laughs> Large bug's claw. Hmm. Well, better than nothing. And its physical attack isn't too much of a threat to rooting. But I wouldn't want to waste his. I finally get the room emptied out and a new Amancer spawns in, so I have to walk. Oh yeah. This rare drop that the Rizami Rodon gave me is this. A claw type, a fist type weapon, so anybody can equip it. Except the Yukis. And it's got a fire attack attached to it. So now anybody can have a fire-based melee, melee attack. Kisner is so fast that even when doing a capture, she still gets three attacks on these skeletons. But I can't just leave her all injured like that. Stinging these on me, load on. Running in. Hmm. Well, I can deploy everybody if I like, so I may as well. Oh shit. Those fucking fish. Hmm. 
Anyway, wait. The skeleton might attack Eel, but it's got a darkness attack to which Eel is resistant. I'm expecting more enemies up this way. Somewhere. Haha. <laughs> These guys. Or this one guy. Actually, fight back just a little bit, Karin. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. A little faster, which is good for an Earth Elemental. Sucker Punch. Ronin's actually able to do quite a bit of damage to those suckers. But she can't get it too close because they will wipe her out in melee. Which is basically the whole story of fighting those fish with anybody in melee. Ah, yes, this is where that archer is. Capture his ass. Morateoko. Fourteen, fourteen. Okay. Ah. Now let's try and get running up here so she can snipe those fish. But Avaro needs to head back so we can fix this. Hmm. Not worth it. Oops. Yeah, 
No, this is that magic attack I told you about. Oops. I should have healed Kismir. But she dodges them both. That's awesome. Hmm. Ah. Oh man, detail's hurting. Why is detail hurting? Uh, three earth shards. Yep, looks like I've just walked Detail Might up to a nest of those damn fish. Well, better him than anyone else. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Fifteen. Yeah, he'll be doing well with that. Twenty-four. No. Remember, we need them alive. You suck! <laughs> Giant hot fishes, Finn. These fish just wander around aimlessly all the time. So half the time you see them, they've run themselves all the way out of fatigue. On the other hand, all characters reach cover one fatigue per turn. Oh, this is another special attack that Yorin has. I think it adds five or six to his physical attack. Still, not much in the face of Karin's defense. No, you got priorities, Avaro. Crap. Another fish. Oh. Yep, run like hell time.
Honestly, I should never have pulled Mikayu out in the first place. Hmm. These stinking fish. This is would do sixteen damage. 19 damage, possibly, to Kisnir. Fortunately, Kisnir's fast enough that they won't get three attacks on her. So it would be 32 damage. Or 38 damage. You know what, Kisnir? You can just retreat and heal up. I know that fish is standing right there. Evil better suited for fighting this the first time I saw it in my trial run. Yes, indeed. I need to equip her with something better, I guess. Well, I'll worry about it later. Stupid Yoru Yuki. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> Not bad. Now whom shall I have kill it? Well, for one thing, let's turn this on. Chori Shinobi. Yeah. Yeah, it was by equipping this other skill, which adds five to our attack. I could kill it like this. I will kill it like this. I know it's not a very valuable addition to my collection. 
<laughs> Good job, Eel. Alright, next turn I can start trying to take that thing down. Strangely enough, these fish all seem to have the exact same stats. A lot of the time when you see different instances of the same enemy type, they'll have slightly different. But these ones seem to be always the same, all the time. Ouch. Get it. Stinking fish. Hmm. But I have a plan. First, capture ropes. Yo, you're not capturing anyone this turn. But Mikeu, you are. This is just her book attack. Oh man. If she doesn't hit both times, it won't die. And then it'll come and try and stomp her. I better ready her up defensively. Uh. Hmm. Better than nothing. Alright. Capture it, Mikeu. Yes! Mikeu's kinda on her level too, so she could use the experience. Alright, take control of this room. Ranrin, you used all of your spell points, so you get to head over to the Feather to recover. I think this will be an empty room. Great. Alright. Damn it. Oh, yeah. SP recovery. And Mikeu, good job, but you're done now. Ah. <laughs> Yo, it's so cute. Oh yeah, I never brought up those doors in the corner there, did I? These are silver doors, so we need a silver key, which we can't make yet. Ah, free shot. Hmm. I didn't realize that rooting could actually do some damage. 20 times 3, but taking 15 times 3. 
Well, if I can get it down below 40, then I'll consider it safe to charge in with Rudin. Mada, mada. You suck. Is he still wearing that? No. I took off the flame tolerance thing. Oh. Freebie. Next turn, you'll conceal that. Run in. Weaken this thing for rooting, will you? Good enough. Rudin, kill this thing, will you? There's a chance he'll miss. Ah, fuck it, you only live once. I hate him so much. Oh man. Wait. Oh, that is so cheap. But I'm not gonna complain. We stand the heat and seal that son of a bitch. Then we can run you over to those chests as well. Alright, Rurin, are you feeling up to actually doing your duty this time? Alright, now you only have to land one hit. One hit. Can you do this? Can you not suck, Rurin? Ah! This is happiness. Hmm. Oh. Splashing in the round in the lava takes two movement points instead of one. Hmm? That means if I want to march all the way across all that, she's going to need some fatigue back. Well, it's about time I use some of those fatigue potions. Okay, almost everyone is done now. Leaving only these two to take the boss once Eel has gotten her treasure chests. No, is it time? It's time. Die, Yorin Yuki! A fire spirit necklace. 
I already have one of those. Alright, come to your senses already. Alright, so this knocks him out a bit. And for some reason this time from his body comes some black lump. Which we don't make any particular note of besides that. Alright, so this guy isn't going to do anything bad anymore. And he'll probably listen to Fia now. Alright, the light has guided him to freedom. So from now on, he'll be obeying Fia. How nice. Skari! <laughs> Alright, he's happy. He gets to follow the guide now. Do you want to explain what you were doing up to now? Huh? Anything? No, we're not going to get an explanation out of this guy. You know, if this guy is so bad guy and Rurin is Kaikisuke, I wonder if there's going to be all the gay subtext between the two of them. Well, anyway, we saved Rodroso and the Doshua Peak is going to stop exploding, erupting. So, let's take Rishu home. Accept him as an ally. And everything is happy from now on, right? <laughs> hmm, not bad. Floating stones. I seem to recall those are used for teleportation amulets or whatever. But anyway, we got some new stuff. And we have scenes to watch. But that will have to wait till next time. I'd like to thank you for watching YouTube. And I will see you next time. Yeah.